All right, Proposition 6. Proposition 6 essentially does two things. Um, first, it repeals recent increases to fuel and vehicle taxes that the legislature and the governor enacted last year. And I'll talk about those in detail in a moment. Second, it would require in the future the legislature and the governor to get voter approval if they want to increase fuel and vehicle taxes. So there's five taxes and fees that would be reduced or eliminated by Proposition 6, but I'm going to focus primarily on two that affect most drivers. The first is the gas excise tax. Currently, this tax is set at 42 cents per gallon. Um, Proposition 6 would lower this tax to 30 cents per gallon, so it would be a 12 cent per gallon decrease. Second is a new transportation improvement fee, sometimes referred to as a car tax. Uh, this is a new fee that took effect this year. Drivers pay it with their vehicle registration. The fee ranges from $25 to $175, depending on the depreciated value of the vehicle. Most vehicle owners, however, pay $25 or $50. Prop 6 would completely eliminate this fee. In addition to these two taxes, Prop 6 also reduces excise and sales taxes on diesel fuel and it would eliminate a new um, registration fee for electric vehicles that's scheduled to take effect in 2020. The revenues associated with all of these taxes and fees primarily support highway and road repair and maintenance programs, though some funding also goes to programs that alleviate congestion, improve trade corridors, or pay for transit services. We've identified two main fiscal impacts of Proposition 6. First, it would reduce annual state funding for transportation by about $5 billion. Um, to put that in context, that's about a 40% reduction in state funding for transportation infrastructure and transit services. And second, it would make it more difficult in the future for the state to enact fuel and vehicle taxes because it has the voter approval requirement. Well done, very quick. All right. So Prop 6 endorsements, we have the Republican Party. It's the Republican Party that put this on the ballot in the first place. We have the Libertarian Party also coming on board in support of this measure. And then in opposition, the Democratic Party, the Green, some Green Party organizations and other smaller Democratic Party organizations. And then in support, we have Reform California, Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, and AARP. And then in opposition, we have boards of supervisors, other interest groups, chambers of commerce, transportation organizations, labor groups and unions, um, the Sacramento Metro Chamber of Commerce here in town. And in opposition, we have the Sierra Club, Nature Conservancy, um, other counties, and um, jobs organizations. We have uh, individuals, elected officials, Republican elected officials in particular, who are in support, and more of them. And then in opposition, we have Governor Brown, the, the leaders of both houses in the state legislature, and other Democratic elected officials. Media is in opposition to this, none in support. And then the funding is coming from the, the Republican Party, Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, and congressional campaigns. And then in opposition, we have um, building organizations um, and carpenters and unions and so forth. So we have much more money in opposition. Questions on this one? Really? Okay. Okay. 